Welcome back to Bullet Swaging. Uh, in the first two, we showed you how to make the jacket. In the second one, we showed you how to make the cores with the core swaging uh, uh, die. Now we're going to show you how to seat the core into the jacket. Basically, it's like all the rest of the processes. If you know how to reload, you know how to do this. It takes a little bit to get it set up. Basically, you want to pull it up a little bit, not too much. Take your core, stick it in your jacket. Again, a little bit of this lube goes a long way. Bring your handle down, line her up. And you keep hearing me say, go all the way down, lock it out. I like to let it set for a second or two, it lets the pressure equalize pull it up. The core, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the core is now in there and it now fills the entire cavity of the bullet. I now have a flat base. I've gone from slightly rounded to flat. So now I have the true spitzer base. And there's the lead. Now, don't be overly concerned about the amount of uh, uh, the void that's in there due to the lead because I'm making a heavy bullet and I'm going to have lead exposed on the very end because I'm making a hunting bullet. You can fill them as full as you want. You can fill them as little as you want. So what we're doing is I'm making an approximate 68 grain bullet. 68, 69 grains. I got a 58 Point two grain core just set it in and I got an approximate 10 grain jacket line them up get them straight because this thing will crush the jacket go down I have my die set right now so when it locks out I can't go any further and I let it set and the reason I let it set is because lead is malleable it flows well under pressure and voila, another one down. It molds well under the pressure, so I like to give it time to go where it's going to go. Oh, and on a side note, uh, ammo, I did take your uh, advice. I did anneal them cases, and I got zero rupture and a whole lot less pressure. And you've been hearing me say, go all the way down, lock it out. Go all the way down, lock it out. Go all the way down, lock it out. When you're redoing a case, you go all the way down. The rim of the case uh, actually collapses in and the brass flows up. You don't go all the way down. You get two different sizes. It's no big ordeal until you get to the pointing stage. When you get to the pointing stage, you have two different bullet tips. Which one are you trying to set for? The tall one or the short one? So consistency is accuracy. Go on both down. I'll pick them up in a minute. One more time. Take your jacket, set it in the die. This is complicated. This is the core that we made from uh, shot shotgun shot and it's no difference whether it was the one that I casted or this one it'll shoot the same stand by we'll get ready to go to the actual pointing formation and finish out our bullet and go have some fun bye